Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Bernada B and I'm back at you today with another video. As your friend from a time, today I will be doing a get ready with me for a night out with one of my girlfriends. So in this video, I'll be doing my hair, my makeup. Y'all, my makeup came out so freaking cute. And I'll also be putting on my fit. You know, we'll be getting dressed together. And I also will be showing you guys the fragrance of the night. So if y'all want to see how this look came together, don't forget to stay tuned and watch to the end of the video. Alright, so, <clears throat> so the first thing I normally do, y'all, when I'm doing my makeup, by the way, if y'all see me looking this way, it's because the mirror is literally right here, directly in front of me, and I have you guys to the side, because, like, how my bathroom is set up, I don't have, like, a, you know, a little counter in front of me. By the way, y'all, I'm trying to be done with my makeup by like about 4 30 it's 3 46 right now and i'm going out for drinks at five with one of my girls so yeah i'm trying to hurry up so the first thing we're gonna do is to prime with the milk hydro grip primer and y'all if y'all see my nails please don't mind it in this video because honestly y'all my nails is looking like crap I'm thinking of probably putting on some press-on nails. Got these press-on nails I was thinking of putting on when I'm finished with my makeup and getting dressed and everything. I don't know if I'll have the time to put it on, but I'll try to squeeze in sometime because y'all know how long makeup normally takes to get done. And I don't know if I'm going to have the time when I'm all done with my makeup. I still got to pick up my clothes and also do my hair. So if I do have the time, then I'll do my nails because they they looking jacked up. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is to hide the little spots on my face that I want to cover up. Just so that it helps my makeup to look a little bit more on the flawless side. <clears throat> so after I put my concealer on the parts where there are dark spots, I like to go in with a flat brush. This flat brush is just a regular degular flat brush it isn't any high-end brand type of flat brush and y'all I am by the way I am not a professional makeup artist so if you hear me calling these brushes the incorrect name mind your business because <laughs> I'm not a makeup artist but I like to use a flat brush to kind of pat on the spot where I put the concealer to hide the dark spots that I have on my face instead of my um what's that thing called instead of my beauty blender because the beauty blender tends to take away some of the product sometimes especially when it's damp and so I just want that full coverage on my skin in the areas where I put the concealer to cover the dark spots hence why I use a brush instead of my beauty blender those spots are damn near gone Alright you guys, so I ended up putting on my headband because my hair was really getting in my way. So I'm gonna get started on my eyebrows now. And y'all, let me tell you, my apologies if I'm just looking over this direction. But my viewfinder is actually helping me to see what I'm doing. So that is why I'm more so looking over this side instead of directly at y'all. I do apologize for that, but it's just a setup that I have in my bathroom. I'm going to be using my BDB, the Micro Bro Effect Bro Pen. And this is from the company Billion Dollar Bros. As well as my LA Colors, you know, my regular degular eyebrow pencil. This one is in the color medium brown and this is in the shade top. Sit down. Like the cool blue light. 
All right, y'all. So I'm all done with my eyebrows. And we're just going to conceal. And we're going to use the Sephora Best Skin Ever Full Coverage Multi-Use Concealer. And uh, we're going to just clean up the brows with that. Y'all, I'm not giving y'all brush details because these are some cheap ass brushes that I have. And when I'm concealing my eyes guys, I just like to drag down the excess amount of product that's left over after I finish outlining my eyebrows. So that's what y'all see me doing right now so I'm just dragging down the excess um the excess concealer down to my eyelid area there and then blend it out just blend 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 all right y'all so I'm just gonna be using my Sasha buttercup setting powder to set my eyebrows and that helps my eyebrows to just last longer and stay in place so I like to set my under eye as well it really helps my eyebrows to stay in place and to not sweat off so easily because one thing about me i'm a sweat all right y'all so we're moving on to eyeshadow and for my eyeshadow i'm gonna be using my morphe x jeffree star palette i think i'm just gonna be going oh shit i don't know why i forgot that there was a mirror in this and this is one of the reasons why i really love this eyeshadow palette is because it comes with a big ass mirror this is what the colors are looking like i really love these colors i've had this palette since 2020 i think i bought it for my birthday and I love it so so much so I'm just gonna be taking this regular regular brush that I have and I think that I'm just gonna be using like some brown colors I want to go for like a regular regular everyday eyebrow look so I think I'm just gonna be mixing some browns together I'm not good at doing my eyeshadow I honestly always just mix some colors together and for some reason it actually always comes out good so I'm going to be using the colors 1985, Mr. Diva, and What's the Tea. so right now we're gonna just add foundation one thing about me i'm never good at freaking time management when it comes on to getting ready to go out y'all i've always been the type of person who pride myself on being early like i want to get to the event early like if we have plans i want to make sure that i'm there early i i've never been the type of person to be late but since of lately i've realized that i'm falling into this habit of being late maybe my best friend is rubbing off on me oh my gosh like girl i need to get myself together because i said that i wanted to be done by five o'clock it's now 4 37 i'm just now starting foundation like i don't know how that's gonna work but i don't think i'm gonna be done by five o'clock y'all so i might have to call my friend and push back the time a little bit we're just applying some foundation and i like to just pump the foundation on my skin so for my foundation i just like to use my flat brush and i just pat 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 just to push the makeup into my skin and i find that that works best for me and i get like the full coverage that i'm looking for whenever I pat the makeup into my skin instead of like doing it in this motion as I said y'all like I am NOT a professional makeup artist so I don't know like the different terms that I'm supposed to be using to describe some of these things but all I know is that I'm just dabbing just dabbing and pushing the makeup into my skin and that works so good for me and I also like to get some of the foundation on my lips, y'all. I find that it works so well as a base layer for my lips. I find that it just makes my lip combo come out so much better whenever I do that. So that's something that I've always been doing. Oh, 
also ensure that I drag my makeup down to my neck just so that my neck and my face can have the same color because I don't want to be looking like a ghost out here with my face one color and my neck one color. So I always like to drag the foundation down to my neck. And also I do my ears as well so that everything can be in one accordance because y'all like <laughs> we don't want to be looking like Casper the ghost out here. To finish the blending process, I just like to add just a little pump on my damp beauty blender and then just also pat that in that way. I find that whenever I just squirt a little bit of foundation on the beauty blender, it doesn't like soak up all the foundation that's on my face whenever I just add like a little squirt. And you are wanting with makeup, blend, 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 blend. Blend, 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 because you don't want to look like Casper the Gold. So here, like it is 2023, we don't want those cakey faces. All right, y'all. So now I'm done with foundation. I'm, I'm gonna be using my same concealer to highlight the areas on my face that I want to highlight, and I just normally do my under eye. So I just, you know, just drag across like that. Then I do my little line. I do my little line down the center of my nose. Then I'm gonna line on my lips. And that's about it. Also, to blend out my concealer, what I normally like to do first is to just spray some setting spray on my beauty blender. And I'm using the e.l.f. dewy coconut setting mist. And then I just like to just pat that in. And I don't like to drag on my concealer, y'all. I just pat it in in the same spot that it's actually sitting in, if that makes sense. So I just pat it on the spot instead of like dragging it out. Y'all, not my freaking hair lifting. Jesus. Like, I thought that I wouldn't have to reinstall my hair. No, it's lifting. Y'all, don't mind my hair. I'm just gonna reinstall that. I'm just gonna fix that side when I'm all done with my makeup because I'm honestly running behind. I should have just started my makeup way earlier. Y'all know how makeup can take really long. And then like me filming doesn't even make it any better. So I'm just gonna set the areas that I've concealed with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And I'm just gonna do it very lightly. Like I'm not gonna pat it in because I like the little baking type of look. And I normally just bake for like two to three minutes. I don't bake for a really long time. I find that when I bake for a really long time, like over five minutes, like the areas that I actually put my setting powder, I realized that it is a little bit too bright for my liking. And so I normally just stick to like two to three minutes and then that's it. By the time I finish my contour, y'all, I normally just like brush it off my face. But for contour, when I went to Sephora, I actually wanted to buy a contour stick. The girl that was assisting me in Sephora, she couldn't find like a really good contour stick for me. I was gonna buy the Charlotte Tilbury, but she was saying that she didn't like how it looked on my skin. And of course, like I'm not a makeup enthusiast, like I don't know much about makeup. So she was the one with her face beat and she was looking so hella good, y'all. Like her makeup looked so freaking good. And uh, so I just trusted, I trusted her judgment because of course she's a professional, she knows what she's doing, she knows what she's saying and so when she put on the concealer on my face she said she didn't like how it looked so yeah I didn't bother getting it and then she said that she don't see anything else that she would recommend for me, the other ones that they have in there wasn't like up to fair standards so just didn't bother getting a contour but what I've normally done is to just use like a makeup foundation that is about one to two shades darker than my skin tone and I normally use that for contour. So today I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation in the shade Nutmeg and that's what we're going to use to contour today because yeah, you girls don't actually have a contour stick and that's okay. So I like to bring my contour upwards when I'm contouring. Just so that it defines my cheekbones even more. I 
and I also like to contour like around the perimeter of my forehead and I just do it very lightly I don't use a lot of products so I normally just use like the excess from the contour on my cheekbones to do that because you don't need a lot of product to do that so then what we're gonna do is to brush away the setting powder under here it has been setting for quite a while I also use my setting powder to set my contour just so it defines my cheekbones a little bit more I just normally let it sit there for like two to three minutes just like I did my under eye and then I just go ahead and do my nose contour so for my nose contour I like to use a very fine brush just keep it like that and then I just use like a flat brush and blend it out alright y'all so after I contour my nose I just go back in with a little bit of my Sasha Buttercup I just rub it down the bridge of my nose just so I can you know re highlight the area where I have my concealer because some of the times what happens is that whenever I'm contouring my nose some of the time the contour kind of gets over a little bit too much on the area where I put my concealer and so I sometimes have to like go back over with the concealer down the bridge of my nose and then set my nose all over again so what I'm gonna be doing now is so I'm going to be using my Charlotte Tilbury compact powder and this is a little sample size that they gave y'all like it's so freaking cute I love that it is also gold and it's in the shade number 310 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just you know dab that dab the brush on there and use it to brush away the excessive setting powder and just to bring everything together I'm also gonna be using my fit me matte poreless powder and I'm just gonna rub that all over my face as well just so that I can bring everything together I also like to use my powders to kind of like you know tone down the ashiness from the setting powder because sometimes you know like when you bake your face the setting powder can be a little bit too ashy and a little bit too harsh on your face so I normally just use my powder my regular makeup powder and just you know just to tone down the ashiness a bit so next I'm gonna be setting my face with my elf setting spray and I like to just drench my face like that and I really love this and it dries matte and so it helps my makeup to stay on pretty good and it helps me to not get too oily too quick especially in the areas where I get oily my under eye my forehead it really does a great job of like just keeping my makeup intact for the whole freaking time like some of the times when I get home and I'm trying to take off the makeup it is so hard to come off with my micellar water because like it is just set on my face you know like when you put ice in a freezer so good like the ice in a freezer what about it it does thing like a <laughs> that thing like a visa all right so next what we're gonna do is lashes and i'm gonna just be putting on these lashes that i got from aliexpress when i bought my wig this actual wig that i'm wearing too and i'm gonna try and do a wing liner that is one thing y'all i i don't think i'm ever gonna perfect i i honestly feel like if i work on it though i will perfect it but for right now like that is one thing y'all like i can't for the life of me put on a freaking wing liner like no matter how much i try i feel like if I put more practice into it, then I'll get it. But y'all, for right now, it ain't working. So I'm gonna do a liner because I just like how it looks when I put my lashes on top of the liner. So I'm still gonna just drag one big old line on my face. 
this is the eyelash glue that i use and it's the duo white glue and it dries transparent one thing i can say y'all like this winter is a so freaking hot like when when winter started it was so freaking cold like we were experiencing like 20 25 degrees nearly 30 degrees and right now like it is so hot like i'm in the house i literally had to turn down my thermostat in the bathroom granted i'm in a black hoodie but normally during the winter time like i'll be cold like even my foot is literally literally so freaking hot y'all like i can't believe how hot it is right now alright y'all so I <laughs> so I applied my lashes and everything and I did my eyeliner as y'all can see y'all this is pretty much a different type of look for me in terms of my lashes because normally like a girl like those big dramatic freaking peacock lashes and as you guys can see these are like really small really fine let me zoom y'all up a little bit really small really fine they aren't long at all so this is pretty much a different type of look for me not used to it at all but i do like how it's giving like natural you know a simple everyday type of vibe and i'm i'm here for it like i'm here for the look that it's giving so i'm not gonna change it because i'm wearing a pretty basic fit and i just feel like the makeup still looks good like i feel like the makeup still looks good with the simple lash so i'm not gonna change it i feel like this is what i'm gonna be wearing so last thing that I'm going to do is my lips and then I'm going to fix my hair and uh, then I'm going to see if my friend still wants to go out because at this point y'all it is pretty late. It's really 524 like uh, this is not good. So you know the regular 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 I'm just lining my lips with my regular eyebrow pencil because I don't have a lip liner right now. So I'm just using my regular regular eyeliner pencil to line my lips. So I'm all done with lining my lips and what we're going to do now is to apply my lipstick. So I like to use my Kylie Matte Lipstick and this is in the shade Rogue, Rogue A. So then I top it off with my Sassy Chick lip gloss. And honestly, y'all, you can use whatever lip gloss you want to use. Even the regular, regular lip gloss. Because this is literally a lip gloss that I bought at the dollar store. Literally one of my favorite lip gloss. Alright, y'all. So the final thing that I like to do is to go back in with my setting spray. Oh, crap. I forgot highlights. Like, really, y'all? When I could tell my someone forget my highlights, me, well, I get ready for go put on setting spray. And I don't even remember so I'm going to do my highlights. I still use my traditional highlight brush. I like to use my Morphe Pretty in Peach palette to do my highlight, y'all. Like, it has some pretty cool colors in there. And that's why I like to use it to do my highlight. Because these are all, the, you know, just those type of neutral type of peachy type vibe and i just like to dust that on my face right above where i do my contour i also like to put it at the tail of my brow i like to put it in the corners of my eyes as well but i like to use a smaller brush to do that i like to mix these two together when i'm doing the highlight and that just helps to bring a little bit of you know, color and pizzazz to my face. I don't overdo it though. I just, you know, just a subtle type of vibe. Yeah. But then now I'm gonna go in and finish off with my setting spray. And I just spray that shit all over my face just to bring everything together. Cause y'all, that setting spray, like, does the freaking job okay like it does the freaking job it brings the makeup look all together 
and uh, yeah it just it just be giving okay all right y'all so this is how the makeup is looking like don't mind my freaking hair that's lifting i'm gonna be fixing that right now but y'all look at that like photo finish period oh let's see what it's mother freaking giving like y'all i love it it's giving it's giving vibes Gorch y'all so we're gonna get started on here now and i feel like i'm just gonna leave it straight i feel like i'm just gonna go for a straight look i was thinking of putting some curls in my hair but as you all know i am way behind literally 5 41 right now so i'm literally late as hell it's almost six o'clock right now so i've literally been late twice for one freaking occasion like how is that even possible i'm not even trying to get this bone straight and i'm using the argan oil of morocco extra penetrating oil and this really helps to you know give the hair some weightless shine i make the hair feel a little bit more softer than, than it already is so i really love putting this in my hair y'all and it also protects the hair from heat so whenever i use this in my hair i realize that even though i'm applying heat to the hair it doesn't like dry it out i'm just passing the iron over my hair because as y'all know i'm running late and <laughs> your girl don't have time to be parting and flat ironing each section all right i feel like that's good enough i just need to use my hot comb then i'm going to go in with my hot comb just to kind of get rid of the flyaways that are at the top i'm really impressed at how good my makeup literally turned out like it is giving it is giving me life so i'm just gonna spray some got to be free spray at the top and also helps me to control the flyaways that normally just peek up at the top of my head i like when i have my middle part and it's kind of like it has that little hump at the top so i kind of like to create that little hump by spraying some freeze glass at the front and kind of like you know do it like this just push back the hair and then i kind of like curve it down like that all i'm all done with makeup and hair so right now i'm just gonna go get dressed and uh, then i'll show you guys the finished look like the clothes and everything and how everything came together also i actually recorded this video by accident in slow motion so that is why you guys are not hearing any audio but i'm just giving you all the outfit details of my jacket my bag and my shoe is from sheen and then the bodysuit that I have on and the pants are from Urban Planet. So for the scent of the night, I did end up going in with my Versace Bright Crystal from Scentbird. And that just tied in everything together, y'all. Like, all black is already giving luxury. And, you know, just that perfume just made everything just come together looking good smelling good everything but yeah y'all that is it for this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe turn on that post notification bell so that you can be notified whenever i post another video and i will see you in the next one love you guys so 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 much and bye yeah yeah sometimes we laugh sometimes we cry but i guess you know now yeah. baby yeah. i took a half and she took the heart